All right. So I think uh, the recording is in progress. Good morning, everyone. And I uh, hope you all are having a fantastic week so far. Um, this is the uh, first meeting for Chaos uh, Asia in August. Um, and it's August 22nd today. And uh, we did not have a lot of meetings in August owing to the uh, project-wide decision to have a no meeting uh, sort of uh, buffer period in August. So um, we've been working on quite a few things and um, I'd like to start off with the updates. But before I go ahead, um, does anyone uh, want to take notes today? It's a fairly light agenda and it would really help if somebody could take notes um, since uh, me taking notes has not resulted in the best outcomes so far. So could uh, anyone volunteer to take notes, please? Uh, yeah, sure. I will make them. All right. Uh, so I'm sure that uh, you know the agenda, Doc, but just for the sake of, um, uh, you know, repeating and uh, sharing, if you do not know where to enter them, it's here. Uh, you can just try directly write stuff on there and I'll start sharing my screen as well so that you're able to see it as we talk. Right. Um. There's the share button. Okay, here's. Hopefully everyone's able to see my screen right now. So like I said, we have a fairly light agenda today. Uh, first up, um, the, uh, I'm, I'm going to start with things. So this I just created right now. Uh, and uh, it might not be in the best order possible. So pardon the order. <laughs> but uh, but uh, the first thing that I realized we needed um, after a lot of events that transpired over the past couple of weeks is um, somebody other than me <laughs> uh, needs to be um, also involved in managing the online outreach for Chaos uh, Asia. Um, and it would also help if uh, there were Asian representatives um, on the social media team for the Chaos Project. It would help them better understand and facilitate those conversations. Um, because the LinkedIn account uh, is managed by, um, you know, um, is managed by the wider Chaos Project social media team. And uh, it would help some of our folks to sort of integrate into that project. So I have actually created a tracking issue for this. Um, and... In that tracking issue, uh, I've outlined the help that we need. We have a separate Twitter account, uh, which is not very widely used at this point because, like I said, it's just been six months. We're trying to bootstrap. We're trying to figure out our niche. So um, what would be the expectation is to uh, draft a monthly sort of calendar on what needs to go out on these socials. Um, um, and obviously to manage and help grow the social media presence for so, uh, Chaos Asia. And um, they will integrate these people, whoever are staffed in this focus group, will integrate with the wider Chaos um, project for outreach, uh, primarily because, um, like I said, Chaos um, LinkedIn account is primarily handled by the wider social media group. So uh, currently, I'm just looking at staffing one or two leads um, who can actually uh, start off this initiative and then bring in more people as we go ahead because... Um, I understand that like getting too many people uh, will not be 
possible given the um, cadence of our meetings and given the number of people that attend our meetings. So uh, I'm, I'm currently looking out um, for folks who are uh, able to nominate themselves for the um, focus group uh, le uh, leading efforts. Um, and honestly speaking, there's not much involved other than what you all do already potentially. Like you all just have to really be um, aware that, that these websites exist and how to sort of draw up a monthly calendar, which I'm pretty sure all of us here know how to do. And um, um, one of the things that um, you would be required to know uh, as part of this is to uh, help with the designing aspect of um, posters for, you know, any collaboration or anything that we are part of. So suppose, like, for example, we have um, the India First 2024 coming up, um, in which case, you know, we might need a collaboration poster for um, amplifying the kind of work that we do with them at the conference. So having knowledge of tools like Canva and Inkscape would be uh, very beneficial. Of course, it's not like it's rocket science and you'll not be able to learn it on the go, but having that as, um, an, as having that as like, you know, knowledge before you start off would be beneficial for the par person who's nominating themselves because it would simplify their job. So I'll take a pause here because I've been talking for quite a bit and see if anybody has any questions or if they are interested in nominating themselves. Yeah, I can give a try. Because uh, though I am not very experienced in designing aspect, but uh, yeah, I could learn or the go manage the social media account. All right. So what I will do is I will patch you with uh, uh with Elizabeth and see if uh, we can get you access to the LinkedIn. I have access to it. Um. But like I said, uh, just me having access is not really helping because I'm not able to manage a lot of the work that is coming through. So I'd like to delegate it to people who actually are able to do it and not take everything on my plate and, you know, work with stuff. Um, so, yeah, so that is... Um, um, that is a great thing. Could you please also um, enter this on the issue itself so that I can uh, like, you know, have that as a record once the call gets over, of course, not right away. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, Sandeep, uh, please tell me. I have, and I can try to help out. Like if you have written a post or something, I can try to help Manuel. Yeah, please. I mean, I'm really happy um, to have um, people help lead the effort um, and, uh, you know, collaborate on this. Like, um, you all can both put in your nominations if you would uh, like to help out. And I'm happy to uh, have as many hands help out with this as possible because it is clearly taking a hit since I'm the only one doing it currently and I'm not doing a very good job. So... <laughs> Uh, I would rather that, you know, somebody with more bandwidth has um, the, you know, opportunity to take it on. Uh, actually, I have no experience with Canva and I am very, very bad when it comes to drawing. So apparently, I am basically the last person in the universe to try drawing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think a lot of us are great <laughs> at drawing, but uh, I think we can give it a try. At least, uh, you know, setting up a monthly content calendar and, um, yeah, you know, drafting content. Help. Yeah, I can help with reviewing the content and all that and refactoring it, definitely. Yes, that would be great. Uh, so... 
if y'all could sort of enter your nominations on the issue that I have linked on the document, uh, it would be really helpful so that we can get started. Um, and I can I can actually reach out to Elizabeth with um you know the names that I want to propose for helping out with social media. And um, would you all also want to be integrated? Because uh, if I actually give your names, you all will also have to be integrated into the wider social media group as well, because they manage, uh, there is a group that manages uh, the social media content that goes out on LinkedIn, on um, the Chaos LinkedIn and on the Chaos Twitter, not the Chaos Asia one. Chaos Asia is just us. Uh, but the wider this uh, wider LinkedIn and wider Twitter for the project. Yeah, sure. Be happy to work along with them. Okay, so I will share your names and uh, we'll take this forward from there. So next, uh, any yeah. other questions? Yeah. No, all good. Feel free to share my name as well. Okay, sure, Sandeep. I will do that. All right. So we'll move on to the next agenda items, uh, which is uh, the creation of another focus group. Um for that will focus on uh, you know enabling and empowering uh, members of the differently able or dif disabled communities to participate now um, one of the things that i have been having conversations about with the wider chaos uh, project is also having like a separate streamlined working group that is um, focused on these efforts, right? Because um, what happens is uh, like Chaos Africa has one uh, such initiative already in progress. Chaos Asia, if we create this focus group, will have one uh, such initiative or a focus group uh, in progress to work towards helping people get integrated into open source and the Chaos project. But they'll be two separate efforts and we might be duplicating uh, the uh, kind of things that we are doing across the board, right? So what I suggested to Ruth and to the wider uh, chaos project is to have like a formalized working group for this. And um, uh, we are thinking about that, but um, if in the context of localized efforts, it would still be beneficial to have folks from Asia uh, working on, you know, the Asian context and folks from Africa working on the African context. There is no doubt about it. So um, I'm still going to create a focus group within the um, Chaos Asia chapter, but Eventually, like we are doing with the social media side of things, we will be um, sort of collaborating a lot with the wider working group if and when it gets created in the future. Uh, primarily because I don't really want us to be duplicating efforts. If you're doing some sort of um, collaboration with an organization or something, I don't want us to like go as different, different uh, chapters. It would help if we are just like going as the chaos project. But on the other hand, specific to Asia, uh, it would also help that we have a chapter or an initiative that focuses on getting um, more of our uh, friends um, into this, uh, into the open source ecosystem. And uh, given that the way of uh, communicating and given that uh, the means of communicating are going to be different um, for each, you know, chapter um, in terms of, you know, the regional differences and everything, I would rather keep it separate. Um, so I want to hear your thoughts on this firstly. Uh, and the second thing is I'm also, you know, going to take a pause and field any questions if you have 
um, any about this uh, particular focus group? Uh, so, Divya, uh, I think you sent me a DM about an issue. Okay, I'm sorry yeah. that, yeah, I'm sorry that I've taken this long to respond. Uh, but I think, uh, I think I'm okay, I'm okay to assign the issue to myself. All right, um, just, just so you know that, uh, what this issue will entail, I don't, um, I know you heard the previous conversation, like whatever I said previously, but uh, what this issue is going to entail is firstly um, that uh, you will be working uh, for this chapter. That is obviously great, uh, but also you will be integrating with a wider chaos project working group um, if and when that working group gets created. Just I've not outlined that in the scope, so I feel like it is necessary to repeat it uh, so that you are not like caught unaware when um, that actually happens. Uh, are you okay with that? Uh, you can, again, take your time and think about it. Um, does not need a response right away, but uh, this is something that I feel like I must reiterate because I've not outlined it in the scope. Uh. Okay. okay, okay, give me a second, I think, uh, one second. Okay. Um... All right, while we give Sandeep some time to think about oh. stuff. Um, I think we can go ahead. Uh, Sandeep, do you have anything to say before we go ahead? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, so, actually, I had the issue in detail. And I also like, I also had like the discussion item initiated by in the Slack channel. Yeah, so I also read that as well. So like, uh, uh, like the scope of work we are currently, we are still defining the scope of work here, right? So the current scope of work is limited to just the Asian context or the Asian continent because we do not have a wider working group that works on this particular effort. Um, but given that Chaos Africa also has an initiative around this, um, we were talk uh, like all the regional leads were talking about um forming a working group. There is nothing right now in any of the other uh regions that we have operations in except Africa, um, where we have this initiative. So the scope of work is very much um uh you know, limited to Asia right now, but there might be a potential expansion into a working group where you will have to integrate or uh, collaborate with them more closely. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um. So, I mean, whenever, if you're okay with that, please feel free to nominate yourself on the issue uh, by writing you know I'd like to nominate myself and then um, I would um, maybe hold a community consensus period for around a week or two weeks uh, oh. primarily to let other people chime in uh, with if they have any uh, thoughts about it and then we can like have uh, uh, have y'all as the name leads for both of these focus groups. Okay, okay. Thanks, Divya. You're welcome. Uh, Manol, any thoughts on this, please? Uh, no, nothing much from my side. But yeah, I feel it's a nice idea for more inclusion of the disabled people into the open source ecosystem and creating 
this purpose would have built Charlie Health Centers. Thank you. And I feel the same way too. So, given that we uh, do not have any questions or suggestions on this item, I'm going to move forward to the uh, next agenda item, which is the uh, opportunities for collaboration. So, there's not a lot of update that is different from uh, the previous meetings. Um, so, India First 2024, we are community partners uh, and Leon who's not here today because he's got COVID, I think, um, uh, will be presenting a workshop about uh, the Chaos Project and Chaos Asia at the conference. Uh, so as far as I know, uh, we have two tickets that we can use and I will not be attending uh, because I am traveling to another conference. So if anyone's interested in going to the conference, uh, we have tickets available, but unfortunately, um, I I cannot give any, uh, you know, funding for travel or anything of that sort. Um, that is uh, still WIP as we speak. So um, if anyone wants to attend the India First 2024 conference, it's in Bengaluru. Uh, you can um uh, sort of let me know. Uh, you can also you know chip in to assist with uh, the workshop that Leon's um sort of presenting. That is also an option. Like I am only given Leon uh, Leon's name because he was already attending the conference um and uh, presenting uh something around open source hardware. Um, but if any of you is interested or anybody in the Chaos Asia chapter is interested, happy to sort of pass on one more ticket to you because we're getting two tickets as part of our community sponsorship. So I'm going to pause there and uh, see if you all have any questions or uh, yeah, any suggestions or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think we already, there is already a scholarship also available for this conference, right? Uh, uh, that is a diversity scholarship uh, that is available uh, for the conference. And it will be on a first, I think um, there'll be a lot of first come first serve basis um, uh, caveats involved uh, with, uh, you know, pro providing that. So if you're interested, Tested, y'all can apply. I don't know if there's a last date to apply. Uh, there will be, but I don't know what is the last date. So you can definitely check out. And um, if you'd like to apply for this, that would uh, that would help, I guess. Uh, because uh, uh, we uh, Leon's going that much, I know. But uh, um, also like if there's anyone that wants to go and attend the conference, because it's one of the um. Uh, biggest conferences alongside uh, OSI India uh, that happens in India every year um, for open source technologists um, in the country. Does that answer your question, though, Sandeep? Ah, uh, yes, too. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Um, any other questions around uh, this particular uh, conference or I'll just go through the next one and uh, um, then we can get to the open discussion items. All right, so I'm going to go to the next open discussion, uh, not open discussion, the next agenda item, which is um, the Opportunity Open Source Conference with uh, IIT Kanpur. So uh, on Saturday, the upcoming Saturday, I'll be presenting about uh, Chaos and Chaos Asia uh, virtually um, to the uh, students of IIT Kanpur at uh, the Opportunity Open Source Conference. Um, and uh, I'll 
also uh, upload the deck if y'all would like to see a bit of it um, on the GitHub repo. I don't mind uh, sharing it uh, in case it would, be, it would help someone else. But uh, yeah, that is there. And um, I also forgot to mention that further down, uh, last time around, Michelle had joined us from research software uh, group, right? And suggested a bunch of uh, podcasts that we can sort of um, appear on and talk about our various initiatives. So I am uh, on deck to actually speak about Chaos Asia and uh, the initiatives around our chapter on Monday, this upcoming Monday, um, on the Sustain OSS podcast. So uh, that is also coming up, but that's not really a collaboration opportunity, which is why I did not list it here, but this is also just an FYI. Um, I'm going to pause there and see if anybody has any uh, questions or uh, suggestions or concerns around that before I go ahead. Uh, yeah. Yes? Yeah, Divya, wonderful to hear. That you are presenting to the students of IIT Kanpur. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, good luck with your presentation. And I'll be very happy to see the slide deck. I would love yes. to see the slide yes. deck. Yes, uh, I will uh, share that. Um, it's actually borrowed from the wider uh, Chaos Project slide deck. Um, so I outline what the chaos project does and then get into the specifics of we, what we as a chapter do, right? So I will share the slide deck in the P PPT format and shall post it on the GitHub repo for future reference. Y'all can also use it. Uh, there is no, um, there is no, uh, concern with y'all using it, uh, but um, yeah, if y'all want to present at a local conference or a local meetup, y'all can use that as well. Uh, like I can give you edit, um, I can share the rights with you uh, to actually do it. That's not a problem. Um, I can share the original copy of the presentation uh, in PPTX format. Um, I will be uploading a PDF um, so that we have versioned um copies but i can share the originals with you in case you want to actually um you know speak at a local meetup or a conference yeah thank you Divya. yeah thank you manuel any questions before we go ahead no nothing from my side and yes the deck would be a really help for all of us Okay, cool. Um, and I think that is uh all that is there on our agenda today. Um, there's nothing else from my side, so I'm gonna open up the floor for any discussion items that you may want to talk about. Uh, whilst we have time, I think we have ten more minutes to go through ten, ten ish more minutes to go through. So if you have any, um topics or any questions or concerns now is a great time to bring it up Uh, Divya, I added a point about the potential opportunities to talk about Chaos Asia on podcast, but I'm not sure if, if I have got this correct or not. Right. Um. Uh, what What is the potential opportunity? Are you asking if there is a potential opportunity or are you, you know, letting us know that you've been approached with a potential opportunity around Chaos Asia? Like, I want to understand that. 
Uh, no, I was actually referring to what you said about Michelle, the one who joined last week, last in the meeting, and she said that we have we have opportunities to talk about Charles Asia in podcast. Yeah, so um, last week, uh, la not last week, the last month when we had this uh, discussion, ah. yeah. Yeah, please. Please feel free to correct this line. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, essentially, what I meant was that, and I'm sorry if it came across wrong. What I mentioned was that, uh, previously, uh, when we had this meeting, uh, on July twenty fifth, um, Michelle Barker had come on from the Research Software Alliance, and uh, she had suggested a couple of podcasts and um had also um, introduced uh, me as the Chaos Asia lead to the hosts of these podcasts. So one of them came back and uh, wanted us to be featured on their podcast around the initiatives that we work. And that recording actually was supposed to happen this week. But due to some time zone conflict um, and uh, calendar issues, uh, it has been shifted to next week. That is that is what was the summary of uh, what I was trying to say. I'm sorry if it came across wrong. No, no. Thank you. It's possible that I got it wrong. Pretty much sure I got it wrong. I think you are correct. Thank you. No problem. Uh, thank you for um, asking the question. Uh, any others, uh, any other questions, concerns or suggestions before we wrap up for the day? No, I'm good. Anything from you, Manal? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Uh, so I think we can uh, call it a day. And uh, I will see you folks, um, I think, two weeks from now. And uh, hopefully we have more updates on each of the things that we're doing by then. Uh, thank you so much for joining in again. And I'll see you folks soon and on Slack. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye.